I hope you guys liked that and didn't know you had a movie star among you, did you? Um, just so you know, I uh, did a cycling event where I rode my bicycle from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Um, it was a fully supported ride with a couple thousand cyclists and uh, probably double that on support crew. Um, but the uh, director of the wedding planner um, asked us to come be in his movie. So I took up the opportunity and, and did it. I enjoyed it, had a fantastic time, uh, but I would never do it again. That was a very long day. Um, that second scene where we're actually riding the bikes, we rode that one block back and forth and back and forth, um, different camera angles, um, different shots, um, let's just say it was really tiring it was actually worse than the original right but anyway i would say if you guys get an opportunity to be an extra in a movie go for it it is a lot of fun um and i i just i like i said i enjoyed it i had a good time that's my claim to fame my 15 seconds of fame because uh, that's about all screen screen time that i got um but let's move on as you probably hear, you hear my furnace kick in. Um, it is cold and raining tonight. Um, found out that to get the furnace to work, these two top buttons have to be held in and then released. Um, that was kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, the, the salesman was very helpful on that. So... Um, I do have my furnace running, and since it is cold, it is supposed to get down close to freezing tonight. Uh, I think it said 35. Um, and the uh, one of the things that I have discovered with this cold is uh, camper van Kevin's little curtain on the front. There is a major drop in temperature when I walk up to the front of the RV. So I have ordered my uh, rod and uh, curtain um, to go up there because um, it will probably help keep this uh, warm. Uh, it, it does get a little cold and uh, but my comforter is keeps me really warm when I sleep at night so I'm not worried there. Uh, what else has happened? Well, uh, regarding the freshwater tank and the hose, uh, I have been lazy and haven't done anything about that. Um, I was going to have a friend come by this weekend who was going to see if he could get it attached. Um, I was just sending him a text when I was ready. But with it being rainy and cold, I didn't text him. So... We're going to just hold off on that a little bit. Um, I need to uh, still replace the house battery. Um, when I got home uh, from work the other morning, I really was, that's when I was going to do it, Saturday morning. I was so tired. Um, I laid down uh, to take a nap um, with a plan to uh, get up in time to get the battery over to the uh, I'll shop, have them check it out, and if I needed to buy a new one, buy a new one. But I slept right through it. And since they, they closed early in the afternoon, I was not able to get that done. And they're not open on Sunday, so I wasn't able to do it uh, tonight or today. And then, so that's just me being lazy, but it'll, it'll come along. Um, what else is there? Not a whole lot going on, um, but wanted to give, give you guys an update. Oh, on the ignition, I'm probably going to have to take it in uh, and have it looked at uh, starting because I was thinking, because I was told that 
um, if the lights and stuff did not come on on the dash and I turned the key, that was the ignition switch. But since I can't start it using the house battery, that would mean it's not the ignition switch, that it's something from the power from the battery to the ignition, um, which I'm not a mechanic and I don't even want to attempt to even try to guess what the problem is. So I'm probably going to take, the, take it in to, um, there's a shop in the neighboring town where they have RV dealership and they do stuff. I'm going to see if they can work on that um, and get that going because like I said I can start it from the house battery when I have a house battery that's charged this one's not charging um, I don't know if it's because I'm only hooked up to uh, the 110 from my house and still running things that it's not allowing it to charge or if it's the battery and I'm going to assume that since I kind of ran it dry by leaving the uh, refrigerator on um, that it, the battery's dead and I need to replace it, which uh, right now it has two 6 volts and I'm going to see if I can get two 12 volts and tie them together, but um, that's the plan uh, where we're at now. Um, I said I've been staying in it, uh, in my front yard. Uh, my front leveling box did come in, but, uh, but because that battery's dead, I wasn't able to start the engine to get it on there. Um, sorry, I have an itch, <laughs> uh, but we'll see, and I'm sorry about these lights coming in the mirror, I did try to cover that up, but like I said, the mirror's on solid, and I wasn't able to hang anything over it, but I did try a couple of things, but there's nothing up there to even hang anything on to cover it up, um, I'm sure that lighting's just fantastic to look at, so anyway, I'm gonna call it, uh, and end of the video at this point um, please remember to like share uh, subscribe hit that notification bell um, and leave a comment it all helps with the algorithm and um, we will be catching you all next week thank you very much